Typically, I like to start these videos by saying something funny, or a pun, if you will. Uh, but I'm far too tired and I haven't come up with anything, so sorry about that. What's going on, everybody? My name's Brian. If you couldn't tell by my fake accent, I'm in Canada. Uh, we are fishing Eagle Lake. This is day, what, four? This is day four. Feels like 18. Um, we've been sort of getting our butts kicked. Um, I don't know. First day was amazing. Second day was, mm, And then I should say yesterday was pretty amazing. Was it not? Mr. Trevor Allen got a 50 incher. If you've not watched that, I'll put it up here so you can watch that. And, uh, Mr. Ben Stone got a 48 three quarters. I was just guiding in the front of the boat, I guess, or running the front of the boat actually. But uh, we have really good conditions today. We didn't even think we were going to be able to fish today because it was calling for rain all day. It stopped about 8.30 and we are going to get out and see if we can get a couple hours of fishing before it is supposed to start raining again. So that's what we're going to do. All right, folks, I'm going to start today off with an Esox Assault EA9, the double nines. And I've got this little neat dangly blade that I uh, made video previously. Maybe I'll link that up top uh, to see how I did that. But that's what I'm throwing on a 9 foot 6 SWAT Assault Stick 2020. Tranks 400 HG with fins. I believe this is the 100 pound big game excess that I put on this one, but loving the fins line so far. Trevor's over here throwing a baby beaver snag it so he's throwing that on a uh assault stick 2020 surgical strike and uh ben's in the back doing uh ben things throwing an assault stick 2020 <laughs> as well and a pc fun reel back there uh but yeah we're gonna get to casting here and see if we can get one of these things to go uh it's literally around the so if you go to the, like if, if you're looking at the resort, if you go to the left, you go around the first big point, it kind of dips back in okay. and, oh, here we go, here we go. He's not eating it. What is this? Got it. Here we go. Dude. That was wild. Dude, that was crazy. That was wild. What is happening? As we say. <laughs> it kept going past the bait. It was just and it was just like it. Oh hi. <laughs> it was sticking too far ahead of it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, well that was definitely one of the craziest figure eight fish I've ever had. It just kept going and it would actually get past the bait so I was trying to speed it up to give it some room to close in on it and uh, finally it just nipped the back end of that uh, Esox Assault double nine and uh, we got it. It's not a huge fish but I have not caught a fish in a couple days so this feels really really good. We've got everything ready. The fish is unhooked. It's uh, hanging out in the bag there. We are going to bring it up. We've got a wetted bump board get a quick measurement for the muskies and clunge log, and then send this fish back on its way and see if we can get another one. She is probably gonna be stinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now I got you. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Is this your first time? Oh my goodness. That's the monster spirit rock. Alright. There we go. She is beat up from the spawn. Look at that back tail. There's a hole right through that back, through her back fin there. That's crazy. Alright. Let's get a quick look at her. It is a 40 inch fish. We're gonna get her back on her way. Yeah, what a crazy, 
current events. <laughs> All right. Okay, on, I'll make a quick picture for you. Okay. All right. All right. Get out of here. Well, that was nutty. Let's go do that again, shall we? Here we go, here we go. Or was that a pike? Still there? Oh! He might come back. He didn't. He didn't get stung or anything. Oh, he hit it at the worst possible time. <laughs> when I'm coming right back at me, and I just didn't really have a whole lot I could do. No, I, I never felt him. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, keep going, keep going. He's there, he's there. Right, right there. Oh, come on. He's there, he's there. Hang in that top corner. Speed up. Right up there. Change directions, do a big figure eight. Fish. Oh, it's small, I think. Oh, it's a muskie. Oh boy. <laughs> the save. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Small. It's small. I still took the time to reel up my bait after. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my goodness. Well, uh, I set the hook on this fish thinking that it was a small pike. Turns out it's uh, lengthwise not a terrible muskie, but girthwise it is not your typical Eagle Lake muskie. <laughs> so we're just going to take a quick look at him, get him on his way. Looks like he's seen better days. <laughs> I mean, there's still pretty fish, but my goodness, that is not what you think of when you think of an Eagle Lake muskellunge. But all right, we'll get this poor guy back and hopefully you can find something real to eat. All right, buddy. Look over for me. There we go. All right. Well, I'm, uh, I'm just clearing the path of all the small ones so these guys can catch the big ones apparently because I am definitely on the 40 inch program right now. Alright everybody, we are back out after a little midday, midday break. Wow, I can't talk. Um, <laughs> we... <laughs> you, know, you know how hard it is to film with these two knuckleheads? We went in, had a little bite to eat. We didn't even think we were going to be fishing today uh, when we were looking at the weather yesterday because it was supposed to rain all day, storms, all that stuff. And quite honestly, we've been able to fish most of the day, so we've been super lucky that way. Um, we are going to go check some rock spots, check some weed spots, see what the fish are doing. 
sort of gauge the interest of the fish uh, as long as we see some and then uh, stick with that the rest of the night I think so that's the plan I do enjoy this being out of the wind program. Ooh, got him, got him. It might just be a big pike. Nope, just an acrobatic muskie, that's all. Is that like the brother of the other one? <laughs> oh, that was such a cool hit. It skied out of the water, dude. I think that's that one that we had up early. Dude, like we're so far that's away second. from that though. We're, we're ways down. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, uh, that is not the size fish we're looking for, but it was definitely had the acrobatics that we're looking for in a topwater fish. I uh, I haven't thrown a bubba at all. Trevor caught his big one on a bubba and uh, I don't know, the lake just laid down so it seemed like the right choice and this thing just skied out of the water. It was definitely trying to kill it and I think I know why. This is another really skinny, <laughs> skinny Eagle Lake muskie that we're just gonna take a quick look at. Come here, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Not the chunker that we're usually used to seeing out of Eagle Lake, but another, probably just a post-spawn male who's pretty beat up yet from the spawn, so just pretty fish, though. Sorry, Pete Mano. <laughs> All, right, All right, let's get this fish back in and see if we can get a bigger one to hit that top water. Oh, yep, 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 I know, I know. Let me get my hand out of there. There he goes. All right, I'm on a three fish day. They're not very big, but I'm on a three fish day. So I will take it and uh, we still have plenty of time. We know there's fish moving. We've got uh, buddies in another boat out here. They're seeing fish. So let's see if we can get something in more of that four foot range. <laughs> Wake, wake, wake. Nope. Dirty bugger. Man, he made a couple moves towards it, but he just, just didn't seem like he wanted it that hard. All right, folks. Well, uh, that was actually a good day because we didn't even think we were going to be able to fish. And then we thought we'd maybe get out for two hours. And it turns out we got out pretty much all day. Um, we had some rain this morning, but since about 8 o'clock till now, we've been able to fish. So that was really nice. Didn't get any big ones today, but uh, it was a good numbers day. I put three in the boat. Uh, we saw some really nice fish. We we know where they're at. We've got some fish on rocks, a lot of fish on weeds. So uh, we certainly have a plan for tomorrow. We've got three more days of this uh, Canadian fishing up here at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge. And uh, let's see, who do I have with me down there? That's Trevor down there playing with lures. And I got Ben Stone, Ben Stone fishing. Um, check out Ben's YouTube channel. Trevor's got Trophy Time Leaders and uh, Chaos Tackle, so <sighs> I'm tired, so we're going to wrap this up before this gets any worse. I appreciate everyone of you watching this mess, and I'll see you in the next video.